All right, team, good morning and welcome to day 24. Day 24, right? Uh, we've got the warm workout, warm up posted. I'm gonna talk you through it a little bit right now and then you'll see all the demonstrations, right? Um, aptly named mashed potatoes because I think at the end of this, we're gonna feel that way, right? And it works like this. So we go three, two, one, go. So on the zero, 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 right? Right at three, two, one, go. You're gonna do five rounds of strict Cindy. All that makes strict Cindy different than non-strict Cindy is the pull-ups. Instead of doing kipping pull-ups, you're not allowed to, you have to do strict pull-ups. So that would be five rounds of five strict pull-ups, 10 push-ups, and 15 air squats. Immediately into 50 single arm dumbbell power cleans, right? So both part of the dumbbell will make contact with the ground, you'll clean it to your shoulder or switch hands, 50, boom, 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 boom. You need to be done with this work in around the five to seven minute mark. That'll give you anywhere from three minutes to 60 seconds to rest before we get on to the second round, which starts on the eight minute mark, right? Then you'll do four rounds of strict Cindy, 40 dumbbell goblet squats, and again, you'll rest until the 16. On the 16, we'll perform three rounds of strict Cindy again, and then do 30 single dumbbell alternating squat clean thrusters. So that's each arm, you're bringing it from the ground, catching it into a full squat clean, standing up and pressing overhead thrusters. You'll see a demonstration in a moment, right? Now, if you do not have the capability to perform strict Cindy, you can't do sit-ups or pull-ups, um, whether because of lack of equipment or ability, you will perform what's called Cindy, S-I-N-D-D, -D, for the same number of rounds, right? One round of Cindy, S-I-N-D-E-E, -E, is simply 10 push-ups and 20 air squats. So we eliminate the pulling and we add five more to the, to the air squats. If you do not have a dumbbell, right, or your dumbbell is so light that it's not effective at these movements, we may add an odd object. Maybe it's a weighted plate, maybe it's a heavy backpack, maybe it's a weight vest, right? Which will also mirror the same rep count as what you use the dumbbell for, right? The order would be odd object, ground of shoulders, which is basically a clean odd object squats with it in the front of your body, and then odd objects thrusters, right? So now we're gonna move on to the warm up to talk about what you guys are gonna see first. So the general warm up is simple. We're gonna do 30 seconds per exercise and get through this three rounds time, right? Samson stretches, scapula push-ups, wall squats. This is where you're facing the wall with your arms up, you'll see. Banded pull-aparts, banded presses, and banded good mornings, which is something we don't do often. Running in place, broad jumps, and glute bridges. All right, let's get on to the exercise demonstration. Hey, we're going to roll right into the warm-up movements. Walking Samson's. The goal to uh, stack your shoulders over your hips, extend the hip flexor of the leg that's stepping backwards. I'm pointing to it for you. And we're just going to alternate through there. Try to keep your chest upright. Don't lean back too far. Don't expose that rib cage. Just get a nice warm feeling, right? Then right on to scapula push-ups. You're going to get in a basic push-up position. You're going to try to move up and down as far as you can through your shoulder blades really protracting and retracting as you can, locking those arms out. Now we're gonna take a step back to the wall and work on these wall-facing squats. The idea is to keep your arms straight above your head, your thumbs touching, and just slowly send those hips back and come down as far as you can. Don't be in a hurry. Steady and smooth and come right back up. Again, trying to keep those elbows locked, the arms straight over your noggin, and thumbs together, that's the hard part. Steady and smooth, you'll feel this in your lower back. Nice, tight, and strong. Then we're gonna involve in a little band work. Um, things we're familiar with, of course, banded pull-aparts. Arms straight, opening and closing. I'll show you a back view so you can see how my uh, retracting and pinching together those muscles in your upper back. All right, we're just gonna weight those muscles that surround your shoulder blade up. Then we're gonna step in and work on some presses. We wanna warm up that overhead position. We're gonna be finding it unilateral today with the dumbbells. So we're gonna warm up a little bit here. Try to keep your rib cage drawn down. Try to drive straight above your head and come right back down into that nice smooth position, right? Just like a barbell press. If you turn sideways, I'm gonna extend my back a little bit here, which was the wrong way. I don't want you to squeeze your butt, keep it tucked under like I just did. Drive it right up to the ceiling. Steady and smooth, guys, you look good. Just like that. Then we're gonna wrap around the back of our neck and do banded good mornings. We've done these a couple times, but they're not too familiar to us. But it's gonna put a little bit of tension. Again, we want our, just like a good morning or a deadlift, we want the hips straight back 
and stand nice and tall. Squeeze your glutes as hard as you can as you stand up, right? Now we're gonna work on uh, running in place. So first I'm gonna start marching just so you can see how your foot folds and how your knees come straight up. Your forefoot makes contact with the ground first and then it's just like that, steady and smooth. And you can speed up, slow down as much as you like. Let your elbows drive backwards, right? Then we're gonna move into some broad jumps. And again, you're gonna jump forward, land soft, right? And again, one more time, use your whole body to get up and get down. I'm gonna show you from the side view now. So you can say a leap and then I land nice and comfortably into that position. Then out of the warm-up exercises, we have the last one here, which is the lying glute bridges. Good to help our hip extension. We did those weighted a couple days ago. Big hips, squeezing tight. Fantastic, that's the end of the warm-up exercises. Now in the three movement patterns for Cindy, we're looking at strict pull-ups today. So, the strict Cindy, I should say. Nice tight body position, chin clearly above the bar, not swinging my hips, coming to full extension at the bottom of the repetition. That's all there is for the pull-ups. Now for the push-ups, nice tight body position, chest all the way ground, all the way up, right? Touch and press up at the end of every single repetition. Of course, you can elevate as necessary to get a proper pushing position. Then the air squats, arms out in front of you, hips down to full range of motion. And all the way up, we really want to work in a concerted effort of making these as perfect as possible. All right, moving into the dumbbell movements, we've got the single arm power cleans here. Um, I really want the bell the kettlebell to be underneath your body position. We clean it, then we switch hands, and you clean it, there's that bar path, right? Both ends touch the ground every time, and you bring it to your shoulders. Simple and smooth. We've done these guys before. Now we're going to do gamba squat. You hold it like this. You turn sideways here. You're going to hit that full range of motion. No different than the air squat range of motion. All the way down, all the way up. Do not rest your elbows on your legs. We don't want to be lazy. Just steady and smooth. Now squat clean thrusters. You're going to love it. It comes from the ground. Both heads of the dumbbell touching the ground. You're going to clean it into the squat clean. And then thrust right overhead. And then alternate in between every repetition. This is going to get your heart rate up. I'm so glad we saved that exercise for last. And let me know how it goes tomorrow. Good luck, everybody. Then real fast, I wanted to squeeze in the odd object movements in case you're not using a dumbbell, right? So here I've got my weighted vest. I'm gonna wrap it up as best I can. I realize I maybe should have edited this part out, but hey, you guys know me. I like to see the technique. It ends up falling apart anyways. So it is, in truth, all for naught. But we're rolling into day 24. It's going to be a happy Wednesday. So who really cares, right? You're going to grab it just as if you're going to clean it um, straight above your head, maybe snatch it. But you're going to pull it to each shoulder opposite ways, right? So as I start, I keep my butt down. Big clean to my shoulders. Back down. So it touches the ground in between every single repetition, right? If you look at it. Um, from the sideway view for these squats, I'm going to keep it right underneath here. Again, I'm not going to rest my elbows on my knees. You could also hold it. And the thruster is no different. Four range of motion squat, and then drive that right over top of the head. Full extension, steady and smooth, right? There's your odd object movements for the workout. Good luck tomorrow, guys.